Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, uh, my sister Faith. Guys, it's so awesome to be in the presence of the Lord. It's so awesome to be with you guys. So we're going to do a quick uh, sound check. <laughs> um, let me know if you can. So I've got my phone just so I can see the comments. Let me know if you can hear me and if you can hear the keyboard. Amen. Let me know if you can hear me, if you can hear the keyboard. I'll wait for at least two. Yes, it's awesome. Praise Jesus. <laughs> Amen. So they can hear us. Okay, awesome. Wow. Yeah. Whenever we are together, it is always I'm always expectant to receive from the Lord. He often, and I use the word very carefully, often, when we give him something, he gives us something in return. It's always like that. It's always a matter of exchange when it comes to the Lord. So the reason I'm saying this is as much as we are gathered here, you know, just to, to give him worship or give him glory that's due to him, let's also be expectant. You know, let's also be expectant. He's a good father who is always giving to his children. So if there is an area in your life this afternoon or morning, wherever you are, whatever time zone you're stuck in, if there is a, a place in you that is a need or something you're lacking, I want to encourage you today. You can expect to receive that from the Lord you can expect to receive that from the Lord he's got it for you he wants to provide that for you he is a good father and I feel to stress that today he is a good father all right so wherever you are <sighs> Holy Spirit is there with you engage with him connect with him be attentive to his movements and be attentive to what he's saying be attentive be attentive i just i feel that invitation there's an invitation from the lord for us to come closer to come closer to come closer hallelujah come closer come closer father it is your face we are here to see it is your face we are here to seek. Hallelujah. You said in your word, you've opened up your hands and you've satisfied the needs of all living things. You open up your hand and you satisfy. That's the verse that's coming to mind. You open up your hand and you satisfy. Sure. You open up your hand and you satisfy the needs or the needs or the desires of all living things. How awesome it is to be in your presence. Maybe where you are just for a moment, just open your mouth, open your heart and just talk to him. Before we jump into music, just open your mouth and I'm inviting you to converse with the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, and we pour 
Lift up a song to him. The way you know how. The way you know how. Whatever is bubbling from your spirit right at this moment. Lift it up. 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 <laughs> there you go. Lift it up. Tell him how beautiful he is. How lovely he is. Just, just pour yourself on him. Like that lady, like that woman who came with the jar of oil and poured it on the head of our master. Pour that worship. Pour that worship onto him. Empty yourself. There's an invitation for that. Even at this moment, there's an invitation for that. Ooh, there you go. Lift it up, lift it up.
to move forward uh, and it's, it's not a matter of it's not a matter of not knowing what to do next the Lord speaks to you and you hear him but it's almost always easier for you to look back to look at things that have been because it's so dark in front of you it's so dark in front of you you, you have no reasons not to move forward when you do have reasons to stay. You you rather stay where you are than move forward. Because what you see is it's incredibly dark before you. It's incredibly dark and, and this has to play with also some of your fears, some of your your own anxiety about your future i see someone asking god like lord what, what is uh, what exactly do you want me to do what's my purpose what is my purpose what is this you want me to do you, you're kind of in a place where you, you're in an open field the field is open so i'm seeing someone standing in an open field it's, it's sort of like you don't know which direction to take because it almost looks as if on the perimeter of the field it's dark so you've concluded that it's safer to stay on the field it's safer to stay where you are than to move towards what you know God has called you to do and I hear him say he is the way maker the miracle worker the promise keeper the light in your darkness that's who he is. That's who he is. Light in the darkness. He's your light in the darkness. Yes, Lord. He's your light in the darkness. Mm -hmm. He's your light in the darkness. Ooh. 
is someone the Lord is really trying to pull out of a place of incredible darkness. Incredible. Not that he's trying, but his mission is to pull you out of that place. He's not trying. He does. God doesn't try. He does. But it's his heart for you is for you to come out of that place of darkness. And you are in that place of darkness because there have been so many attempts. You attempted so many things and it, you've, you've concluded that you failed. So it's much easier for you, like I'm saying, it's much easier for you to dwell in darkness with a little glimmer of light. You've become so content with just a ray, just a ray of sunshine. But the Lord is calling you to overwhelming light. Overwhelming light. And this darkness is in a form of what people want to call mental illness. It's in the form of not wanting to pursue what the Lord has placed in your heart to pursue. There's a deep fear of failure, especially within ministry. A deep fear of failure, especially within ministry. You are called to the incredible light. The incredible light. Where things are clearer, things are lighter, things are easier to carry. Sure. <laughs> Amen. Miracle. Promise keeping. Light in the darkness. That is who you are. I want to speak to you, uh, a few of you guys, please don't mind me, my phone's about to die, so I'm going to try to get a charger, but stay talking to the Lord, stay talking to the Lord. Um, oh Alright, Lord, who do you want to speak to tonight? I saw your name and it just jumped out. <laughs> Nundando, Nundando. You know, the Lord, I looked at your name and the Lord says, You are the apple of His eye. You are the apple of His, his eye. <sighs> you are the apple of His, his eye. There's a, a deep. There's a deep desire in the Lord's heart tonight to remind you of that, whatever time zone you're in, that He loves you. And I'm, I'm almost getting a sense that you are needing to be reminded sometimes because you often feel insufficient and you often feel incapable or undeserving or unworthy of God's love. Now, I know we all generally feel this, but with you, it's almost that nagging, it's like that, it's like the load you carry on your back that's making it a bit harder to move at the pace the Lord has called you to move at. And something as small as not believing that God loves you is the reason for that what you are interpreting as delay in your life. Part of the reason is that you, it's, it's hard for you to accept that he loves you. It's almost like there's a catch. You know, you know he loves you. You, you, you understand or rather you, you know it as a general thing. But to, you know it as a general thing because you know that God loves everyone. So it's, it's much easier to understand it like that. Like he loves all of us. But when it comes to you as Montano, it's so hard to embrace that. And I just, I feel his overwhelming love for you tonight. He's just like, I love her. I love her. And when you embrace that he loves me, I'm the apple of his eye. He's called me. He's equipped me. 
He's qualified me. And I promise you the pace at which you'll be moving at will, will quicken. Will, kick, will quicken. I don't know if you've been frustrated with the pace or you've been frustrated with the fact that there are things you know that you should have achieved by now or things you know that the Lord has placed for you to achieve and they've not come to fruition. And you have drawn all sorts of conclusions in your heart, in the depth of your heart. Remember, the Lord doesn't just see what we see and hear what, he, what we hear, but He knows the depth of your heart. In the depth of your heart, you feel like maybe it's because I don't deserve these things. Maybe God has called other people, but I feel His love for you. Yes, Nintendo, I've called you. Yes, you are mine. Yes, I've redeemed you. Yes, I've equipped you. And yes, you might be insufficient, but in me, you are sufficient. In me. In me. And we're not fully in God until we fully believe that He loves us. Until we fully believe that. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Father, I just bless Mondando with that. I bless Mondando with that the word with that reminder that she is loved that they are deeply loved by you deeply loved by you called by you equipped by you and that in you they have great purpose hallelujah i bless the word, the word. i bless the spirit to be able to perceive these truths and whatever stronghold of lies, of deception about what you think of her and what you've called her to be, I break now in the name of Jesus. She is a daughter of light. That is the truth. And everything else is a lie. I thank you so much. Thank you, Lord, for reaching us wherever we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. your name and the, the first name that I saw in my spirit or the name I felt with weight in my spirit was the word rejoice <laughs> rejoice 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 that's what I hear in my spirit for you rejoice I see you about to turn a, a curve it's like you at a turning point I'm not sure in what regards. I'm not sure if you have been trusting the Lord for something for some time, which I am strongly leaning to that in my spirit. But there's a, a curve that you're, you are walking or you are on a path, and there's a curve that you're about to turn. And the word I see right in front of you is rejoice. Rejoice. Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, Rejoice. Rejoice is a power, it's a weapon, and it's also a command. And I feel so strongly for you, Mercy, that the Lord is in what we've been called to always rejoice, but yours is, is so, uh, there's weight on it. There's weight on it. There is weight on it. There is so much weight on it, and I think it's, it's because of that curve you're about to turn. It's about that. So praise the Lord. Before the physical manifestation of what you've been trusting him for, praise him. <laughs> praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him, praise him. Before that physical manifestation, praise him. I see for you to specifically, uh, mercy, it's just the word rejoice. 
rejoice and I think it's significant because maybe to you right now it might seem like there's no need for me to rejoice the circumstances are saying you can't be rejoicing you need to be making plan B, plan C, plan D because apparently plan A failed but I just hear my spirit for you rejoice rejoice again I say rejoice and I see a curve so Father bless bless mercy bless her with the ability to be able to rejoice and sing for joy and declare from the rooftop that God is good he's done it again even before she sees it in the flesh give her the ability to shout from the rooftops that hallelujah my God has done it again even before she sees it even before it comes to fruition even before it comes to fruition hallelujah 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 I just suddenly got a I want to do a song <clears throat> a bulk of us here most of us here are in a very frustrated a frustrated time or season and the reason it's frustrating is because you can almost sense that something is here that the Lord's promises are here they're here they're here but what's frustrating a lot of us is that why am I not seeing them? It's almost as if you are just at the point of breakthrough, but you're not there. And so we're in the tension of I, I, there's a there's breakthrough is here. It's arrived. It's no longer something that's coming. It's here. But the tension of but what is? So it's almost like there are things that are stagnant. It's like it's stored or hidden somewhere. Oh. Uh, yeah. 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 It's almost like it's 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 yeah. so I have a song in my spirit and I wanna sing it over you guys. And where you are, please listen to, to the words. It's it's a song based on Isaiah sixty Arise and shine, for the glory of the Lord has come. It's a prophetic declaration over each and every person who's here, who's in that moment of tension, who's in that space of tension. The tension of, you know the Lord has released it, but it's not yet manifested. So, so you and this thing are in... You guys get me. You guys get me. It's, it's almost as if your blessing are in limbo. That's the word I was thinking limbo limbo because i feel the tension of it the tension of yes the lord has done it but ah, lord, where is it Hallelujah! i'm not going to sing the whole song i'm going to sing the songs that i feel have weight for this moment wait and i ask that we all connect by faith connect by faith connect by faith and declare it and as I sing it over you, receive it. Receive it and agree with it. Agree with it. Agree with it.
Minister, can I just, I want to pray for everyone who's here. Father, in the name of Jesus, you are the one who knows the end from the beginning. You know it, you've seen it, you see it. You were, you are, and you shall forever be. Bring each and every one of these beautiful lives. Every single They've got nowhere else to go. All of them. Some are, are in between decisions. Some are in the valley of decisions. Some are, I don't know whether to even stay in the faith. Or oh, every single one of them. Some are in the, the heart of revival in their lives. They're in the midst of it. Even those ones. I ask that you keep them. You sustain them. That the Lord grace that was sufficient for us yesterday may it be sufficient even today even now we thank you for that grace that is sufficient even now hallelujah hallelujah I pray for each and every one of them Father those who need a miracle those who need breakthrough you are indeed the way maker the miracle worker the miracle worker promise keeper you are faithful to your word you are just and you are holy and if you could look up the sparrows and the birds in the air and if you could clothe the lilies and the grass you are much more valuable than that and that is what your word tells us and I pray for them that they may not lose hope that they may not lose their faith but that they will, they will see oh, yeah? the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living I give you glory and I give you honor. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys. It was such an honor to be here. It was such an honor to worship the Lord with you as I hand over to my brother Faith. Hallelujah.